Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhe from Wizards of the Coast. And today I have something extremely exciting, which is I'm going to crack open an entire box of Modern Horizons 2 collector boosters, full of the shiniest good stuff in the set, all the cool frame treatments, and I cannot wait to share it all with you. <laughs> Now, one funny thing happened here. Um, so as you may have noticed in my recent videos, I got a new camera, very exciting. Still getting used to it. And uh, I opened up the box and cracked the first pack without having my camera turned on. So that was very embarrassing. And especially because when I show you the first pack, you're gonna tell me it was rigged. And you're gonna be like, Gavin, you just assembled this pack, I had other things you had lying around. I promise you that is not the case. I have it right here, um, haven't changed a thing about it. But yeah, so sorry, the box is already open and one pack is already open. I will walk you through the pack though. Um, just totally amateur hour over here with me, literally not turning my camera on. But there's still uh, 11 packs that I haven't opened, plus the one that I have that I'll show you. So plenty of, of fun stuff to open up. Okay, so now here's the, the one pack that I sadly opened up. Uh, a, a classic, a classic Gavin move right here. Okay. I'll show you what's in this pack. And I'm gonna start by walking you through everything. And it actually got me time to get a couple comparisons or one specific thing I wanted to compare to. So um, here we go. First thing first, you'll find in a collector booster. You will find four foil commons. So these guys right here. Then you will find two foil um, uncommons. Flame Rift, nice uh, legacy card, modern if you're uh, if maybe, you know, who knows, burn modern, maybe it'll finally be its time. Then you get um, a foil etched basic land. Now I've got one advantage of me opening that up is it did let me go back to my set booster box and from earlier in the week and I grabbed just a foil swamp for comparison. So you can actually see them side by side. And here's what the foil etched on the left looks like next to the non foil etched on the right. Um, it's Looks definitely looks more different in person than on the camera, but the camera's doing a decent job. The this one over here, the foil etched one, you can kind of see the especially go, go like this, like the etching go around there, kind of how it's textured a little bit. Where this you know, this version doesn't doesn't have that right. It's more of a traditional foil. It goes across the card in a different way, a little bit. So the, it'll be more apparent on the other foil etched cards, I think. Um, but yeah, th there you go. There's a little comparison for you side by side of these. I'd say it is way less subtle than what we did with the foil etched cards in Strixhaven, but more subtle than what we did with the foil etched cards in Commander Legends. So there you go on this one. Okay, now it's the next card that you're gonna be like, Gavin, you rigged the booster, come on. But I'm serious, I didn't, I just opened it up here. You should have heard my uh, shout of excitement. Maybe if, if I, I, I kept the old, I kept the old uh, video recording file with my audio, so maybe I'll just play it over here. But yeah, I opened up this uh, uh, extended art Aaron Mesa, which I was very excited about. Um, now that I've you know I've shown already, not quite as uh, exuberant maybe as I was a few minutes ago when this happened, but I'm still very, 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 very excited to open this up. And it's pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, you get your one extended art rare. Then you get a sketch common or uncommon. So once again, all the cool treatments showing up in these boosters. Here's a sketch card for you. Then we get one um, sketch, rare mythic rare. This could also be the borderless rare sometimes, um, but most of the time you're gonna get a sketch, a sketch rare here. Then we get two foil sketch or retro frame, common or uncommon. So those are the showcase treatments for the set are the sketch and retro frames. So um, here's our Phantasmal Dreadmar, one of my favorites. Love this, looking cool in that sketch frame. You, you know, it's kind of subtle, but the sketch frame is a special frame made for this. You can see like the expansion symbol, for example, um, it's like a little way, a little ways outside the lines and some stuff that just makes it look sketchy. And then a foil goblin anarchomancer. Nice lot. Next we get our foil etched common or uncommon. So here is prismatic ending. I think the foil etching comes out a little better on this, um, just in terms of how it looks on the camera. Once again, in person, it's, it's more apparent than it is on here. Um, but you can see how it kind of just has that textured look, especially like look at you know near the wizard symbol down there in the bottom. It has this kind of cool, cool extra hint. It just looks looks like a little different than a normal foil. It makes it feel super premium. And then you get your uh, foil etched 
rare or mythic rare. And this is the one I think it is the, probably the most apparent on, right? Look at that green frame. Look at that texture in the box, text box there. You can really see that the hints on the card. It makes the makes the background onslaught symbol here pop. It's pretty cool. I think you really need to see them in person to get the full effect. But yeah, like I said, less subtle than the Strixhaven ones. Definitely uh, more subtle than the Commander Legends ones, which were very in your face. And then uh, at the back, or I guess I'm not quite the back yet, but here at the back you get, um, when it comes to non-tokens, you get your um, alternate frame rare or mythic rare. So this could be a retro frame card, a sketch card, a extended art card, a borderless card, just something in a different frame. In this case, we've got a sketch of Dress Down, which I mentioned in my last set booster video, but I love this sketch card. It's like truly a sketch. It's pretty like, yep, this was early in the process. Here's my rough idea and, you know, did a great job finishing out the card. And then at the back, you get a foil token, double-sided. So we got a foil thopter here and a foil squirrel here. Look at that little guy. Oh, so cute. Okay, so that, that's the first back opened up on accident. Uh, sorry about that. That was definitely not my intention, but uh, you know, learning curve. Now the rest will all be a little more authentic reactions. Uh, hopefully you still enjoyed seeing that. It was a good walkthrough, you know, good, good little walkthrough booster there. Uh, all right, let's go into pack number two here. We've got, all right, so here's our commons and uncommons. Healer's Flock, this makes me funny. We keep talking about what else we could do this with, right? We did the three Lenoir Elf Gag in the first one, Healer's Flock in the second one. What would we do for the uh, like red, black, and blue ones? You let me know in the comments down below. Triple Curse Catcher for the Professor, maybe. I don't know. All right, so here's our Foil Edge Blends. Yes! Oh, you all know how much I love the Odyssey, this art in particular. The Odyssey um, plans we did here. Oh, that looks sweet in the Foil Edge. And I think this one... The white frame seems to carry the foil etched treatment um, pretty well on camera, so you definitely see it here. Oh, that's cool. That looks really good. Like the foil etching on those lightning bolts in the background. Oh, yeah, this will be this will be used for sure. Okay, that's great. Uh, whoa, yes. Extended art profane tutor. Much discussed card, but I expect this to DC. Plenty of commander play. Turns out Demonic Tutor that shows up in two turns is, is still totally good. In fact, a lot of times it's turn two and you have Demonic Tutor, but you don't want to play it because you don't know what you want to get yet. Well, hey, suspending it for two turns down the road is like, you know, pretty good timing. Sketch Blossoming Calm. That looks cool. Mood, a spell that protects her from her enemies. Dress Down. Hey, another Dress Down. This time not Foil, though. Foil Blossoming Calm. Cool, cool. Ornithopter Paradise. I love the old card frame foils. The idea of combining Ornithopter and Birds of Paradise is just like hilarious to me. I don't know whose idea was that originally, but I love it. Okay, so then we get Foil Etched Mistress Factory. Followed by Foil Etched Archmage Charm. That's cool. Retro frame Foil Etched Archmage Charm. Super cool. And then, oh man. Foil, Borderless, Yavimaya, Cradle of Growth. That is killer. You know, a question I asked on Twitter the other day, I'm curious what YouTube, my YouTube audience thinks. So we did Urborg already for black. We did Yavimaya for green. If we were to do another one, what color would you want it to be? White, blue, red, or as some people on Twitter pointed out, waste, colorless, everything is a waste. Let me know in the comments down below. I don't think we'd put it into modern, but it's not outside the range of doing in a commander product someday. Could be a fun card. Let your Merfolk Island Walk or Valka triggers go wild or whatever. Oh man, this is so cool to see all this goodness in one place. I'm in love with this planes. I know you that you know that I love this planes artwork already if you watch my set booster video, but it looks super good. I know it's weird to be like a planes as a thing that I'm excited about, but I really am excited about that planes. All right. On to pack number three. Okay. Got our common to uncommons foil here. And then we're gonna see foil lush forest. Followed by, ooh, the progenitor ooze, storm permanent. Pioneered by the way, uh, mystery booster card, Croson adaptation, a permanent with storm. This card also green, but quite a different deal. 
a storm ooze. Hope you enjoy building with this. We've got Phantasmal Dreadma, yes, as our sketch card. This card makes me smile every time. So I think I've said about it before, but it's still true. We've got a sketch rise and shine. Ah, everything's waking up and ready, ready to attack. I think this one especially works good in the sketch frame. I love how it really feels like a, you know, like some things are very sketchy, like the dress down. This is more like a, yeah, this feels like a more traditional level of sketch. Like, yep, this is one stage before we get to the final mood. You can't keep, keep us locked away anymore to battle. I love these little like artist, um, artist notes that we put in here. Once again, it's not the whole description, but it's a, a fun piece of it. Foil Galvanic Relay. Neat, storm card. Squirrel Sovereign, oh, nice. That's a cool old frame foil. Looks like it came out of right out of an Odyssey booster pack. That's great. Another foil galvanic relay. This one, I believe is foil etched. Followed by Karth the Lion. Nice. As I mentioned in my last video, in case you missed it though, Karth the Lion is a shortening of Carthelian, or not a shortening, but his name um, was like combined into Carthelian, which became the Carthelian line, which is where we see Jared Carthelian. From. And this one is Foil Ash, it looks pretty cool. Looks Foil Ash looks pretty good on the gold frame too. Gold frame is not my favorite of the old card frames, I'll admit. But I still love seeing stuff in the old frame. It makes me happy every time. Actually, you know, now that, uh, just before I get to the last card. So I've got the foil esque galvanic relay here and the normal. So once again, here's you can see them side by side on the retro frames too. Coincidental, I got them in the same booster pack here. But So here's the traditional. Here is the foil etched. There we go. There we go on those. All right. Enough looking at that. Let's move on to our last card, which is what? Foil borderless marsh flats. Yeah, that's like what my reaction was when I aired Mesa. But now you got an even better, better excited pull. Foil borderless marsh flats. Holy smokes. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, that's uh, one of the best pulls you could probably ask for. Wow. Setting that over in the, I mean, it's hard to make like the, the winner pile when opening collector boosters because they're all winners, but yeah, this one, this one feels pretty good. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna gingerly drop that on top here. Gingerly drop that on top, that's right. I'll put that over, I guess I should grab my other stack, put that over here. Ooh, just leave that on screen. That is a nice one. All right, well, let's go on to the next pack. So current card, uh, current most exciting card is definitely Foil March Flats Borderless. It's gonna be hard to beat that one. Let's see what we can do. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in these packs, though, so anything's kind of possible. All right, so go through our four commons, our two uncommons. Here is our Foil Edge Forest. And then we have a Borderless Out of Time. For all you, you Teferi fans out there. And then Floodhound. Aw, cute little, cute little clue maker. Floodhound is a great solve for the name on this card. Archon of Cruelty in the sketch, that's cool. The orange really comes outside of that expansion symbol here. You really notice it on, on this version of the frame, or on this uh, rarity, rather. I mean, it always comes out about the same amount, but the orange stands out so well here. Get ready to reanimate this, this friend. Foil Bone Shards. This is a callback to uh, Bone Splinters. Even set on Alara too. Arcus Acolyte, there's a foil card in the sketch frame. It's kind of cool how they foiled the sketch. All right, you just you kind of added the, the hint across the whole thing. Brings it to life a little bit. Sea Drake, this was, card was a, uh, a staple in Legacy, believe it or not, for a while. You would like play turn one Ancient Tomb, plus another mana source, Chromox or something, cast this, and you you, you, um, you couldn't target a second land. If you only have one land, this doesn't bounce any of your lands. So throwback card there from Portal. This one is foil etched here. Gorgeous Rebecca Gay artwork and foil etched. That is great. All right. 
foil etched diamond lion. Well, I love getting the uh, foil diamond lion. That just feels appropriate. Oh, that's so cool. The foil artifacts in the old frame are the, ah, that's the, the chef's kiss real winner. Whew, that's amazing. The foil etch looks so good on that line. I don't, know if, I don't know how much it's picking up on the camera, but foil etch on that line is pretty rad. That is great. Necrogoyf as our alternate bordered, alternate framed card. Foil at the end, and then our token. Bird and treasure. All right. Keep on going through these. I've told a lot of the similar stories to the set booster video so far, but we'll open up some different cards, I'm sure. Clue, uh, Clue Drifter. Oh, by the way, fun fact, this card is played this name was Clue Drifter, which, you know, Mull Drifter reference. Still kept being an elemental the whole time. It has got the fish there, so some of that stuck through. Archfiend of Sorrows. This is art I think we had in Slush for a while. Slush is an area that we put art that we just don't have a, a home for, and someday we hope to use it. And I think we finally used it here, which is was pretty cool. It's always cool to find a home for a, a piece like that. All right. And we got our foil swamp. Okay. And then got Borderless Karth the Lion. Get your uh, Planeswalker Commander decks ready, followed by Late to Dinner. And sketch frame. A friendship that can outlast death. Oh, nice. Borderless Counterspell. Excited to have this in modern, and this is the version you want. Oh, it looks so pretty. I love, one thing that's cool about this art piece thing in particular is because the text is centered, and this character is centered, and everything else is symmetrical around the whole frame, it just looks like it's perfect. It's a perfect, uh, the, you know, Quandrix would, would approve. It's perfectly symmetrical all the way around, I think, for the most part. I mean, you know, besides some frame elements, but... That's great. Got a tribute mage and foil, an old frame. That's pretty cool. A kitchen imp sketch. A little, little sketchy there. We got ephemerate and foil etched. Once again, I think that etching comes through pretty good on the... You'll be seeing it much bigger on your screen than I am on my camera as I'm looking right now. But I think it comes through pretty good on these, on these white cards. Oh, foil etched cabal coffers. Yes. Oh. Oh, I gotta, I gotta be careful not to breathe too heavily here. Woo! Yeah, that's a big open. Wow, you just can't. These collector boosters look so hard to miss, and they're awesome. Wow, that is amazing. And then we're gonna close it out. What? No way. Foil old frame marsh flats. Are you kidding me? You you saw me open up these packs. Once again, this is not a rigged box. First pack you couldn't. I guess you couldn't see. Maybe. Even theoretically, I could have rigged it. I can't just rig random boosters. We don't. That's not how we do it. Like I, this isn't a rigged box or anything. Sometimes I get accused of rigged boxes. Nope. I just get a box like everybody else. Wow. Well, that is. Uh, I mean, I'll put that next to my um, this guy. Wow. Wow. I'm not even sure which is going to go into my uh, favorite favorite white blue black commander deck. My Mariki Ribera deck. Those are both so pretty. I think I gotta give the nod to the old card frame one though. It's just so hard to beat this. Which one do you like more? You can let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna complain about this with uh, over half the box left to go. Yeah, uh, these packs are kind of nuts. So if you weren't uh, if you weren't inter interested in collector boosters yet, this might be the thing that does it. All right. So we'll go through the four commons. Go through the two uncommons, got a foil etched uh, island here. And then Blood Braid Marauder. I thought this was a really clever solve to the Cascade challenge of like having a card that costs under three that cascades makes it so easy to play a Ancestral Vision or, you know, Restore Balance or whatever. Um, but Delirium makes it a little harder to do that on turn two. A lot harder on turn two, but not impossible. Tome Scour yourself or something. Kitchen Imp for our sketch card. Ooh, Borderless Dacon. That's awesome. That's really great. Not Richard Kane Ferguson art on this one. We got tried to look at a different uh, take with Jake Murray here. That's a cool, cool look of the of the character. That's pretty sweet. I love that he enters with the number of uh, loyalty equal to lands you control, because the original card, of course, has loyalty, or sorry, had power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. That's cool. Foil, World Weary, and Sketch. That's looking pretty great. 
Talisman of Hierarchy. Cool. This one's foil etched. That looks great. Marble Gargoyle. Oh, excuse, excuse me, this one is, n is not foil etched. Uh, but Marble Gar Gargoyle is. We got a Goblin Engineer in foil etched. That is awesome. Oh, that looks so cool. And then, ooh, Borderless Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp. I think one of my favorite lines of text on a card printed in a while is R, destroy target artifact you control. It's like so funny to me. But yeah, I mean, you know, you could build, you could definitely build this, uh, build this commander deck. Pretty funny thing to do. The, the art looks really good going to the sides on this one, too. It really feels like it extends into infinity. Squirrel and zombie right there. Oh, that's great. So much shiny stuff. We've got some questions about Goblin Engineer, right? It was in both um, Time Spiral Remastered and in Modern Horizons as a time shifted card. It, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the full story about why Aaron included it here. But it was just a card from the original Modern Horizons. It did make a decent amount of sense to do as a as a returning card. And plus, as it turns out, you know, uh, Time Spiral Remastered was hot, um, so it was hard to get your hands on. And um, you know, getting more out there in the world might not necessarily really be a bad thing. But in general, I think we should preserve until you know more cards get in the old frame. We should try and do unique cards where possible. But um, I think Aaron made a totally fine choice here with that. Curious what you think there. You can let me know in the comments down below. All right, so here are our commons. There's our foil etched land. Inevitable trail. Curse your son, inevitable trail. Time for some bribery on this borderless card. That's cool. Road to ruin. Ooh, sketch frame Urza saga. That's awesome. I mean, I did a whole video on the how awesome this card is and how many Easter eggs are there. And the, looking at the sketch version, is really cool. I think I definitely prefer the sketch to the normal on this one, just because the black and white nature of it makes it feel so appropriate for the card. Like it really, it all comes together, you know, like it's gold here and like the border is kind of like the same color. This one is gorgeous. It's like, I think my preferred Urza Saga version. Foil Floodhound, old border step through. We got a foil etched blacksmith's skill right here. Whew, foil etched karmic guide. Nice. See if this thing does anything in modern. I don't know. Find out. It's historically a pretty powerful card. Lots of combos with that. And oh, borderless Thrasta Tempest Roar. Nice. Get your dino action on. Trample over planeswalker, something new we're trying here. Um kind of a new keyword. I'm curious if we'll use it more. I think it plays pretty well, right? There's all these times where it's like, man, I have a 6-6, six, six, but if I attack a Planeswalker and then it was too loyal to you, just kind of burn it. I can see us trying that more often. And we get a crab, a crab treasure. Mini crabs are treasures. All right. It's like, so we got what? Five packs left? Is that five packs left here? Still plenty of uh, time to open up more good stuff. I'm, I want more fetch lands. Let's see if we can, if we can get a third one here. Or a, a fourth one, excuse me. Third different one. All right, one, two, three, four. Here are the, here are the commons. Here are the uncommons. Foil source, no, excuse me. Foil soul snare. That's nice. Foil edge swamp. Extended art Piru the volatile. Cool. Lean in Shikari. Shikari are from Mirden. So Archbound Shikari is a Mirden card, appropriate for modular, which is where that mechanic debuted. Obsidian Sharma in a sketch frame. Sorry about your Tron lands, buddy. Oh, now this just looks right. This is, you know, Basking Rootwalla, of course, being the card that this is calling back to. In a, this this just looks right to me, right? Just like Basking Rootwalla is in the old frame, Blazing Rootwalla in the old frame. Right out of, a, of an Odyssey, or I guess Torment in this case, booster pack is what it feels like. That's cool. Lens Flare. The sketch frame. Vile and Tumor. Okay. Ooh, what? 
I literally cannot believe this. So I've opened up an extended art Aaron Mesa and a foil etched old frame Aaron Mesa. I don't, this packs are ridiculous. These are just nuts. I, I mean, I would, I would like gasp in exuberance again, but I feel like you've seen that reaction from me already. Now I'm just flabbergasted. Now <laughs> that's, <laughs> it is, <laughs> you know, it's, it's wild to think. I've been playing this game for 20 years. I've been at Wizards for 10 years, and I still open something like this, and I'm just like, what? Like, you know, I, I still get that rush, that is the same rush that I got as a kid when you, like, open up your awesome rare that you wanted. Except maybe back then it, it wasn't a land, because I didn't know lands were good. But anyway. Oh, that is so cool. Check it out. Oh, that looks so good. My decks are going to be happy to have these. I got to get some of these in there. Wow. Okay, I should probably move on. So I'm just staring at this in the mirror. Oh, speaking, what is this pack? Sketch artwork Dacon Shadow Slayer from Richard Kane Ferguson. Oh, oh, wow. That looks so good. Look at that artwork. Look at it. The sketch artwork by RKF, the master himself. Wow. You gotta love this. That is so good. How can you see this and not just love magic? You know, just like see this gorgeous piece of artwork and foil and be like that. I want to play that. I want to experience that. Oh, that is amazing. I don't want to move on from this pack. I mean, this was, this was the hotness right here. Wow. I am, uh, just wow. I've never opened up a, um, a Modern Horizons 2 collector booster before today, before this video. And uh, feels pretty, pretty darn good. We still got, we still got four packs left. I don't know how it's going to top the foil sketch Dacon etched fo uh, foil etched Arid Mesa retro frame. But who knows? These packs haven't, I didn't think I was going to top the earlier Marsh Flats either. So here we are now, or the retro flame one. I keep, keep getting topped. So anyway, there are commons on commons. There's a foil etched mountain. Here's a uh, borderless Richard and Dock Hand calling back to Richard and Port on this card. I had someone ask me why it's not a pirate. I might have to ask creative. I, I actually don't know the answer to that question. A lot of stuff in Richard was, of course, pirates. I think that's a good note, though. Keep in mind in the future if we do more any Richard and callback cards. Sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, that's, that's a good note. We'll keep in mind for next time. Abundant Harvest. Sketch frame. This was a, a kind of preview in a modern, in a, for Modern Horizons 2 and Strixhaven. If you were paying attention. Dermotaxi, and that nice sketch frame. This this card's a funny concept. Makes me smile. Foil nested shambler. Get some squirrels piloting a zombie. Great, great solve for the concept. Sometimes you concept a card and you're like, how is creative gonna figure out this one, right? You design the zombie that dies into tapped squirrels and you're like, all right, creative, good luck. And then they come back with this and you're like, wow, you nailed it. Great work. The modal cards are always the hardest for that, like destroy target artifact or, I don't know, creature with flying. It's like, what does this thing do? Uh, anyway, Universal Automaton. It's a nice little one mana, one mana shapeshifter changeling. Foil etched generous gift. That looks pretty good. Lots of white foil etched cards in, in this, this box. Looks great. Got a ooh, retro frame shardless agent. Uh, so especially without the cascade reminder text. That's nice. It really, um, and because that's foil etched, like you really see it. I don't know if it's coming through on there. I think it'll come through just a little bit, bit, but the individual pieces of the card, like all here right here, they really pop. Like this, um, this blade really comes out. The mask really comes out. It's kind of like he's, he's coming out of the shadows, or they, I suppose, are coming out of the shadows here as you rotate the card, that's really cool. And then a Goblin Engineer, foil in the, uh, in the old frame. And a food token, ah, Asmor probably made this. And uh, Thopter. All right, on to the next pack here. We've got Mental Journey to start. Draw three cards. Uh, ooh, foil Chatterstorm, that's nice, popper players. Want that right now. Foil Island. 
It's a Mirage style island. These are, this is like, when I started playing, I started playing with 6th edition. I got 6th edition starter set. And uh, there are a lot of like Mirage artwork lands in there. So this, this is super nostalgic for me. I wonder if it's nostalgic for anybody else. Uh, Nettle Cyst, cool. Living Weapon creatures. Nice that, once again, with the, with the uh, extended art version, not have that reminder text in there. Makes the card look so clean. Faithless Salvaging, kicking back to Faithless Looting. Ooh, Borderless Mirari's Wake. That's awesome. I think this has a new flavor text, too. Its passage through history is marked by warped desires and insatiable greed. That's great. Love that new Donato piece, too. Talk about a, a master painting this. It's like an abstract look at Mirari's Wake, and I, I really dig it. That's super cool. Yeah, here he is. The Dread Ma Rar. Foil etchings of the Chosen. Bone shards. Oh, nice. That is going to be a Dothy Voidwalker. Looking gorgeous. This card has been much discussed. This, once again, getting a card. What I love about these old card frame treatments in um, both Time Star Remastered and here in Modern Horizons 2 is. Um, and it's, you get a card that is like very much from an era or referencing something and it's in the old frame. It feels like it's from that set, right? So this is like, looks right out of a, of a Tempest booster. Like the art looks like it could be from Tempest. You know, you get the, the Douthy, the first Douthy since that block, I believe, um, the first new Douthy, first new shadow card since Time Spiral, I think. Oh, it's just, the whole package just comes together. Oh, that is awesome. I guess they didn't have foils in Tempest, so that wouldn't have been accurate, but hey, I can live with it. And then, whoa, foiling Noble Hierarch. Nice. I mean, I think I've been ruined by the foil fetch lands, but uh, this is this is still a really good pack. It wasn't for, like, the ridiculous fetch land packs. This is, would be a pretty hot one with the Ignoble Hierarch and the Dothy Voidwalker. This is still an amazing booster, though. Wow. <laughs> I love, the, like, the intention. Do a mirror image of the Noble Hierarch card, only this time, with a goblin. I wonder what else you can do to do that for. What other cards are like, just do this with a goblin. Tezzeret, but it's a goblin instead. I don't know. All right. Two more packs left. <clears throat> Commons and uncommons. Foilish planes. Not my favorite planes, but it is. I know a lot of people like this one. Still looks pretty good. Hey, speaking of Douthy Voidwalker, there, there it goes. Here's the, compared to the, uh, here's the extended art compared to the traditional, by the way. In case you were curious. I have it right here anyway. Cool. Really does look smaller in the old frame. It's kind of the double whammy of a smaller frame plus not the extended art. I think I still favor the extended art, or sorry, I still favor the old frame version. Just can't beat the old frames. I love them so much. We're weary. Esper oh, Sketch Esper Sentinel. That's nice. This card, uh, Ristic's, Ristic Buddy, as some people have called it, or uh, I think I prefer because of maybe it's a deeper reference, is uh, Ristic. Um, Ristic Remora. This is pretty cool. I dig it. Foil Blacksmith Skill. Nice. Gargadon. <laughs> a sketch Gargadon. Made a greater Gargadon, a lesser Gargadon. Make a normal Gargadon. This made us this made us smile a lot internally. Ooh, foily chatterstorm. Nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. This one's for you, Prof. Sylveon of Sea and Sky. Old frame. Whew. That is nice. Foil etched. That is nice. Get your Merfolk decks ready, my friends. It is time. Giver of runes. Whoa, this pack's also loaded. I mean, I know it just sounds like I'm gooping out over all these packs, but like, I mean, have you you've seen them, right? Like, they're awesome. They're just awesome. All right, last booster pack right here. Here we go. Commons, uncommon. Zuranor, hello. <gasps> yes, man. You know it's a Gavin box when you get two of this Odyssey land. Just like I would have drawn it up. 
Oh, that looks so good. I just love how the how the lightning looks. I know but you're like you're having to stop looking at this land. Look, if you if you all want to mail me all the copies of this you don't want, I'll take them. Uh, borderless Academy manufacturer. Abundant harvest. Ooh, nice. The special borderless mistress factory. That's great. See all the little constructs hanging out over here. That's kind of cool. Foil in War Tribe, kicking back to the first Modern Horizons. Ornithopter of Paradise, kicking to this Modern Horizons, the old frame. Talisman Creativity, ooh, and Foil Etch too. That's great. Talismans and Foil Etch look awesome. Force of Vigor, ooh, nice. Once again, Foil Etch, old frame. That is great. What a way to end the box. Foil, borderless, scalding, tarn. This box is nuts. This box is ridiculous. So many fetch lands, so many retro frame fetch lands, borderless fetch lands. That's nuts. I didn't, I mean, I knew the box was going to be good. Like it's a, it's a Modern Horizons 2 collector booster box, but like, you, you saw me open all these. This is as, like as good as it gets. I'm glad I'm glad I, my camera's been recording the whole time. Uh, that's amazing. What? I got to go update my commander decks. Like, that's so good. I am I am so happy with this box. This is the best collector booster. Like, I've been opening collector boosters on this show for since Commander Legends. Um, these are the best collector boosters I've opened. Like, that's, these are awesome. I mean, obviously, I'm biased by my pulls. Can't say you're going to open up fetch lines every time, but that is good stuff. These just packs are just like jam packed of goodness. Well, I I don't know much more to say. I am I'm truly like speechless at some of the opens up here today. So I hope you enjoyed watching. This was a wild ride, um, and I'll talk with you again soon. And until then, may your opens be as good as the ones in this box because holy smokes, it was good. Um, yeah, talk to you again soon. Uh, until then. Um, you got this. So the connection has always been there. And this is the first time we're tapping into them with magic. So what we're doing is we're releasing a secret layer of Stranger Things cards. These cards are universes beyond. They're black bordered and they're mechanically unique. Now this is a very cool opportunity for magic to bring the characters and the world of Stranger Things.